Hello and welcome to another video from Disky Central. My name is Noel Umtiane and if you are new, please subscribe. You will not regret it. This weekend, we have our first fixtures in this country since the lockdown and it is the semi-finals of the Net Bank Cup. So this weekend, we're looking at two matches, um, Barocca vs Celtic and Vitz vs Sundowns. And we are going to preview these matches, so stay tuned. <laughs> Alright, so our first fixture since the lockdown is going to be Barocca versus Celtic. Alright, both these teams are making their first appearance in the Netbank Cup semi and sadly only one can make it to the final. Alright, so to properly preview this match we looked at a couple of factors. We looked at the head-to-head -head between the two teams, we looked at how they got to the final and then we looked at the log. At the log, we looked at the goals scored and the goals conceded because this is a cup tournament and that's what matters, goals. That's what gets you to the next round, you know. So, yeah, let's get to it. With regards to the head-to-head, -head, uh, in the last two years, there's been a lot of draws between the two teams. We've seen 2-2 two -two draws. I think we've seen nil nils and 1-1s. But only Celtic has managed to win this fixture in the last two years. All right, so that's already a point for Celtic. And then we looked at how they got to the final. All right, so Barocca beat Bologuane, they beat Hungry Lions, and they beat Leopards. Right, in those matches, they managed to score four goals and only concede two. Celtic, however, they beat Amazulu, they beat Meritsburg, and they beat TS Sporting. And in that run, they scored eight goals and conceded four. That's literally double of what. Barocca scored and conceded, right? So it looks like Celtic has been scoring more. On log wise, um, Celtic has managed to score 33 goals this season, but they've also conceded 33 goals this season, right? So that's like half and half. Whereas Barocca have only scored 15 goals, which is less than half of the Celtic goals, but they've managed to let in 21, which leaves them in a six goal deficit. So looking at this, it's pretty clear to see that Celtic have the upper hand in this cup tie. And yeah, it looks like the, statistically the odds are stacked against Morocco, but they have managed to be a good underdog. They've managed to be Pirates in a final. So you never know what to expect. But for this match, I am saying, I think we'll get a draw, a full-time draw, but Celtic should edge this one out. All right, so the next fixture is the one that's that's the one that everyone is looking forward to. All right, so we have Sundowns versus Vitz. Their last five meetings have been four draws, four draws and one win for Sundowns. Right, it's been pretty dull, about one one, nil nil, and then Sundowns pulled two nil back in 2018. All right, and then the last time they met in a cup match, Vitz wiped the floor with them. <laughs> You want, I think I need to jog your memory. This is what happened. So not only did Vitz beat Sundowns, right? They had enough time to actually rub it in, right? So I'm I'm thinking that Vitz will wanna avenge that. I would, you know. So okay, road to the final. Road to the final. Sundowns beat Highlands Park. They beat Val. They beat Supersport and managed to keep clean sheets the whole way. So in that run, they scored four goals and managed to concede zero. Vitz, however, beat Real Kings, they beat Chipper, and they beat Pirates, right? And in that run, they scored nine goals, which is more than double for Sundowns, right? They scored nine goals and only considered three, and all three came from one match. So they also managed to keep a couple of clean sheets, right? So looking at that, you see that Vitz has been more trigger happy. But then now, also looking at the PSL, Sundowns has managed to score 30 goals, 
and only concede 15, whereas Vitz has only managed to score 25 and concede 17. So Vitz has scored less but conceded more than Sundowns in the, in the league, but they've scored more on the cup and conceded or well, considered more, but they they scored more than double. So this would be a very interesting fixture. Another thing that actually makes this more interesting is the fact that well, Vitz has sold their status, right? So this is their last run. Okay. So looking at what Kevin Hunt has had to say, they are looking to finish the season on a high. Maybe this is like one of their last gigs. So I'm sure that the guys will be putting in 100 on this. I want to liken this to how City behaved, right? When Man City were initially banned from Europe, they played their hearts out against Madrid. So I'm expecting that kind of performance from Vitz. But Sundowns obviously will want to avenge that loss in the final. So this will be a very interesting match. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Oh, my score prediction. I'm going to go for 2-1 to Sundowns. Yeah. Let me know what you think. And thank you, thank you very much for watching. Peace. <laughs> properly preview this match we looked at a couple of things all right we looked at the head-to-head -head between the two teams we looked at their past uh uh